Cam Underwood from State of the U is our man for Miami football. And, uh, of course, this is the dead period of the college football calendar between the end of spring practice, getting us set for the the various media days and then into summer camp. And uh, I'm always uh, intrigued by some of the articles that are out there because the writers have to get a little bit more creative. And one of those staples seem to be the, the countdown, the countdown to... Uh, the opener. So we're at 62 days as we sit here on a Sunday afternoon to Miami's opener the first week of September. So number 62, I believe, was applied by UCAM in, in designating, okay, it's 62 days. So who wore the jersey 62 and who am I going to select to be that guy to represent the U on State of the U? So who do we have today? Yeah, no, uh, we're doing that every day. I think it goes up at about eight or nine o'clock in the morning. Um, just counting down guys who wore the various jersey numbers, and we've been doing that ever since. Uh, Ninety-nine days to go to a kickoff, which was May the twenty-sixth, is when I wrote the first article um, for that series. So we've been counting down every day. Go on stateofyou.com, and you can check that out. I have a nice story stream right on the front page, and I think we're over a hundred articles counting down towards this season already. So there's plenty of content on a variety of things, but. Uh, yeah, today we had Tony Fitzpatrick, who was on the 83 National Championship team. He was an offensive lineman. Also, Richard Mercier, who was there in the 90s, the late 90s, and started 48 games. Also, Chris Harvey, uh, who was there from 99 to 2002, um, and he actually was an offensive lineman as well. And he was an education major, like myself. And we had classes together. I think we had like three or four education classes together, Chris Harvey and I did. Um, Things like that. He was a good guy. I never had a project with him or anything, but uh, always did well uh, when, you know, we talked about or had class discussions, things like that. So uh, just, again, giving you a little tidbit that you're not going to get anywhere else because I was the only one who was there in those classes with him. Uh, I have a really great Najee Davenport class story that I'm not sure I can tell, but I had a class with him for a l- I had a class with Najee Davenport as well, but we'll leave it there. Um, the current number 62 is Hayden Mahoney. He was a redshirt guy. Um, in the 2015 class, uh, he's maybe going to be a, a too deep rotational guy uh, this year um, on the offensive line. And, you know, we'll see going forward. But, yeah, every day we're having our number countdowns. You can go back and see, you know, maybe your favorite player from a different number because uh, we've done every number from 99 up through 62 already. I uh, have 61 already written, and I've actually written some of my the other ones that I'm writing. But, you know, we have a staff of contributors, and they're all chipping in with a couple different days and things like that. But, you know, we have – early game previews already. We're starting our position previews already, starting our um, player previews already and things like that. And I am going to give you, uh, you know, some some Miami flavor and some, you know, fan-sided, really, you know, kind of whimsical stuff as well. So there's a variety of things that we're doing, uh, you know, to bide your time in the summer. But, uh, you know, State of the U is where, where you need to be for your Miami Hurricanes needs. So we're just, we're grinding along with you and hopefully you're there for the ride. And uh, be sure that you stick around because once the season gets there uh, and the Miami Hurricanes start winning football games, you're definitely going to want to see what we have. And if you stick around now, you'll be more prepared to talk about that intelligently because we have X's and O's previews every week uh, on Thursdays about certain games. So you've probably missed four or five of those as ready. But if you want to talk intelligently about the Toledo game or this other game and, you know, from an X's and O's standpoint, look at what our guy, Justin Dottavio, Iron Man football, he's written up there. You have some really great stuff. So, that's my, you know, 45-second commercial for State of the U, but you're already watching this video. Hopefully, you're on the website, but if you're not on the website and watching this video, go ahead and give it a click and see if you don't like something. I love the countdown idea, uh, and this is something that most sites do, but I love the idea, and I especially love about the last week to 10 days because I never think any of us give enough love to the offensive linemen and the sixties is almost exclusively offensive linemen. You know, you get into the seventies, you've got some defensive linemen, the fifties, some linebackers, but the sixties are pretty much the offensive linemen. So they, they have to get some attention. So I like that. Yeah. You know, we're, like I said, doing every single number from 99 down to one. Um, there's some numbers that are, you know, maybe more, um, revered than others you know 99 i got to write about joe jackson and winston moss which is cool for me you know for 75 obviously we had our uh, one of our guys write about vince wilfork that was a fun day you know so you have some of those things uh you know 64 that was a rough day because you know hey, you gotta you know, maybe do a little research in the offensive line time but you know i have my calendar here i'm not going to show you guys the calendar but i guarantee you it's on the other side of this clipboard uh so you know i have a bunch of stuff going on and you know other numbers that we're going to get to so 
you know, just be sure that you check it out and hop in the comments. You know, some days we hit all 12 guys who wore a certain number. Other days we only hit one or two guys. And then you hop in the comments and say, yo, but I remember, you know, Bob Jones and he was this. And I remember Deontay Jackson and he was that and, you know, whatever. And it's just great conversation. So, yeah, we you know, we try to, you know, I have not done the countdown uh, thing in my four years with State of the U. So it's the first time doing this uh, that I've been a part of writing. And yeah, it's, you know, interesting and engaging. And every time that I look up a new number, like today, I wrote about one of the retired numbers that's upcoming next month uh, or this month. And I didn't know anything about these guys. So I sat there and I read some stuff to, to learn something else about Miami Hurricanes history. So, you know, I got that. And I know that our other writers get that. And we hopefully, you know, want to share that with you guys as well. Because, you know, there's some people from every generation of Miami Hurricanes fandom. But no matter where in that fandom you sit, we want to connect with you. So, and, you know, just check out our countdown and our other stuff on stayofthu.com. And, uh, you know, just stick around through the season because we have some great stuff lined up for you. All right. All these awesome stuff from uh, Kim Underwood, State of the U. You can join him as well on Twitter at uh, Underwood Sports. And maybe between now and the next time, Cam, we track you down, you can figure out how to cajole, uh, manipulate, clean up the Najee Davenport story so you can tell it to us. See, and that, <laughs> whatever you thing, need to do. The thing about it is, it's not a dirty story per se. Um, I'm just not sure that it's fit for public consumption but i will let your imaginations run wild as to what this story between me and Najee davenport Najee davenport is a fifth year senior and me as a true freshman in 2000 what class could we have had and what is the story that we could have had from that class i will tell you next time what class it was and maybe just maybe tell you the story but you're gonna have to check it out